Welcome everyone to Marvel Hub, and it's been around a year since I've said that. This channel was on a year-long hiatus, but Phase 4 is just around the corner with the start of WandaVision, so now is the perfect time to bring the channel back to bring you guys the latest and greatest Marvel news and information. So, today's video will be focusing on all of the latest leaks regarding WandaVision, which may contain some heavy spoilers, so be aware of that if you guys do want to proceed and finish this video. So, starting off with a very interesting listing that was found on Chrome TV for the WandaVision series. Series, and Doctor Strange was found in the cast and crew, which to me is pretty plausible. I would say the MCU is beginning a bit of a quadrilogy of multiverse stories, and that's going to start with WandaVision. It's going to continue through Loki, Spider-Man 3, and will of course be wrapped up with Doctor Strange Madness in the Multiverse in 2022. So I think Doctor Strange making an appearance in all of these projects leading up to his sequel would make the most sense, and if I had to take a guess, I would say Doctor Strange will likely appear in the second to last or last episode of WandaVision. You know, maybe he comes in and recruits her for a certain task to teach her more about the multiverse, or maybe Wanda goes rogue, right? She turns evil, Doctor Strange becomes aware, possibly fights her, and then, you know, something else happens, which kind of ends in a bit of a cliffhanger. We'll probably see Wanda next in Doctor Strange 2. If not then, maybe a tease or a glimpse in Loki or Spider-Man 3. Who actually knows? But I think Doctor Strange playing some type of role or even being mentioned in the series would make a lot of sense. Now, now, we also have information about a potential return of the Quicksilver, so a character that we haven't seen since Avengers Age of Ultron back in, what was that, 2015? We all expected a cameo of sorts in either Infinity War or even Endgame, but that didn't happen. But I would say WandaVision is the perfect time to finally bring his character back, even if he doesn't actually come back to life, but maybe a cameo of sorts, a flashback, or something in her head. Let's just see. But according to an Instagram user known for posting Funko information, an Emerald City Comic Con 2021 Funko exclusive for the Disney Plus series will feature a Funko pack containing both Vision and the Quicksilver. So I'm curious how that would work. And there's, of course, placeholder art for this two pack with Vision and Quicksilver. But obviously, Vision and Quicksilver are probably the two most important people to Wanda. So I think her envisioning them in some sort within the series probably makes a lot of sense. But I wouldn't be opposed to seeing, you know, Quicksilver come back full time, you know, for the next Avengers roster, but of course there have been rumors that the Quicksilver from the X-Men franchise from 20th Century Fox may also be making an appearance in WandaVision and future MCU projects, so I'm curious how they can play into that, but I think going with the multiverse, maybe at some point they'll acknowledge that yeah, in a different universe, you know, way back when, there was a different roster containing characters that we have seen in the MCU, like the Quicksilver, so let's just see what happens with that, but we then have rumored information about the plots for the first two episodes of WandaVision that were covered in a couple of articles. So, as per the rumor, the first episode supposedly begins with Bruce Banner, Scott Lang, and Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about how the snap had resulted in time travel and alternate realities opening up multiverses. Wanda is living off the grid in France, and she conjures an image of Vision using her powers, and he tells her to find him, which is what sets the plot in motion. Sword are hot on her tail, with the organization looking to bring her in, but Wanda Vision's unnamed villain instead talks her into joining him at a facility for those psychologically affected by the snap. But of course, not everything is what it seems. Wanda is set to spend her free time watching old American sitcoms, which is what the alternate realities glimpsed in the only footage we've seen so far will be based on. Kat Dennings returning Darcy will reportedly be one of the patients at the facility, while Catherine Hahn's mystery character will also be there, but as a plant working for the bad guy to manipulate Wanda. Interestingly, Vision supposedly won't make many appearances in the first two episodes of the series, which wouldn't really bother me considering the series is probably going to start off a bit slow dealing with the aftermath of Avengers Endgame and then it'll probably be episode three or four when Vision finally makes a reappearance and then they find a way to potentially keep Vision permanently in the MCU through a different reality even after the show is over. Maybe since the Mind Stone is destroyed Wanda could use her own powers to keep him alive or she'll create a jewel with her powers to sit where the Mind Stone was. Who knows how they'll figure it out but we do know based on footage we've seen of the series so far that we're going to be getting flashbacks to Avengers Age of Ultron when Wanda was being held captive along with her brother by Hydra of course and when the Mind Stone was being manipulated which eventually gave Wanda and her brother the powers that they have so Avengers 2 didn't cover that too much but I'm sure they could expand on that quite a bit and possibly reveal some secrets that we didn't know before. Now keep in mind the plot details that we just read about the first two episodes is coming from an article that was written by We Got This Covered and we all know We Got This Covered doesn't have the best track record we could all acknowledge that but they wrote the article based off of a leak that they saw 
over on 4chan. And if you guys remember correctly, there were lots of leaks on 4chan and Reddit about movies like Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, even Far From Home, and Black Widow, which were spot on. A lot of those leaks ended up coming true. We made videos here on the channel months before the release of those movies with full plot details, which were literally spot on somehow, right? There's, of course, going to be fake leaks here and there, but we, of course, make these videos in the case that some of those plots eventually do come true. Now, we also have an update on the new Scarlet Witch outfit that we're going to be seeing in WandaVision. So, we've gotten promo art so far of the series, which gives us, you know, a sneak peek at parts of the outfit. Now, I would say if you're looking for a comic accurate outfit, we technically got a glimpse of that already through this type of Halloween spoof that we're going to be seeing in the series. That's probably the closest to the comic accurate outfit. As you guys can see, Vision also had a comic accurate outfit in a similar scene dealing with Halloween as well so that's that but this other outfit she's going to be getting is quite interesting I wonder if she'll get it herself whether she makes it or if the villain gives it to her or if she doesn't go rogue by the end of the series to kind of throw fans off maybe Doctor Strange will give it to her you know as a signal that yeah she's definitely you know talented enough to deal with the multiverse and she can work with him in the sequel maybe she won't go evil until Doctor Strange 2 that's definitely a possibility unless he goes evil by the end of the series and then Doctor Strange is like yeah we got to figure out you know a plan to stop her or something so let's see what happens with that but we then had a full plot leak from bgr.com who wrote an extended article based off of a different 4chan leak which actually contains similar information to the plot we just read but it goes in even more detail so as it officially says over on 4chan the main storyline is a doctor who got snapped in infinity war trying to enter a multiverse reality to be with his dead wife and daughter basically the same thing as devs First scene is Hulk and Pym giving a talk at a university, Neil deGrasse Tyson cameo. They're talking about the plot of Endgame and the time travel opening up multiverses. They take questions and someone asks what's to stop them from doing it again and Pym says he destroyed his old particles and formula and Hulk destroyed the machines and blueprints so nobody could recreate what they did. The scene focuses on the main antagonist of the show, Dr. Smith, and he walks out after they explain they destroyed everything. Wanda is in France living off the grid, she has a different hairstyle glasses and wears ugly clothes to try to blend in. She works at a farm taking phone call orders in another language. She lives in a loft in a suburban place and one night she's drinking and it's implied she hasn't used her powers since Endgame. She uses her powers to create an image of Vision next to her and he says some lines from Civil War and Infinity War like I only feel you and it's supposed to be her memory of him. But then he says find me and Wanda freaks out and ends the image. She goes to bed crying. So the next morning Sword with Monica Rambo from Captain Marvel all grown up, shows up at Wanda's place and wants to meet with her. She has been avoiding them for months but agrees to go with them. She makes a go bag of cash, clothes, and other stuff and hides it under the bed. She goes to a cafe with them and they explain they need to reassemble the most powerful Avengers for the next Thanos level threat. Wanda plays along but tells them she's not ready. They tell her to think about it but they need her to come to the United States with them soon. She agrees and goes home. While she was out, the doctor from the first scene had snuck into her apartment and stolen her cash. He was following Sword without them even realizing. Realizing. Wanda goes home and takes the go bag to the train station. She runs onto a train as it's boarding and hides it under the window. When someone comes for her ticket, she tries to give him her cash, but she doesn't have any. Then the doctor hands the ticket taker cash and says he's got her ticket. She thanks him and he sits with her. He says he recognizes her but won't say anything as she clearly doesn't want to be found. They start talking and he tells her he made a facility in the Midwest to support snap and blip victims who couldn't psychologically handle it and he's in Europe meeting with potential patients at a hospital. It's an inpatient facility and people live there, but it's confidential and people can leave when they want. He says he knows she snapped, but she was famous and wants to help her heal. So she agrees and gets off the train with him to his private jet. In the US, he takes her to his facility, which is almost a quarter mile long and looks like an apartment complex. People have balconies and live normal lives for the most part, but live at the facility. He gives her a room and sets her up with a psychiatrist. I forgot her name, but she's Asian. Wanda moves in her apartment, which is connected to other apartments in kind of a lobby area. She meets a Mexican guy whose kids died in between the snap and blip, so when he blipped back, they had been gone for years. There's a girl's wife who snapped and blipped, but she had already moved on and she killed herself. The widow is Catherine Han from Parks and Rec. Wanda tells her story without the details because they don't appear to know who she is, so she gets her first appointment and is reluctant to give details, but the Asian doctor tells her everything is confidential and nobody knows she's there. So they just talk about things that make her happy, and Wanda says the last time she was truly happy, was when she was a kid with her brother and they watched American sitcoms. The doctor tells her she can get some old shows on video and give them to Wanda. She gives Wanda Brady Bunch, Roseanne, Boy Meets World, and a few others, but I didn't recognize them. All real shows, though. So Wanda goes to her apartment
apartment and watches some shows and it flashes back to her and Quicksilver as kids watching the same episode and that's the end of the first episode. Second episode starts with Dr. Smith driving his car on the highway. Him and his wife are taking their daughter to her dance studio and he starts to snap. The wife grabs the wheel as he's disappearing and crashes into an oncoming car. Dr. Smith blips back with a bunch of other people on the side of the highway and everyone is really confused. Normal people start honking at them and everyone gets out of their cars and then a title plays. Wanda goes to lunch at a restaurant in the facility and meets Kat Dennings from Thor. She's there because she snapped and blipped and her boyfriend, the guy from Thor 2 with the camera, got diagnosed with cancer in the five years when she blipped back he was dying. She tried to find him but he died a week after the blip and she couldn't find him until it was too late. So she has had guilt and PTSD like everyone else in the facility. She knows who Wanda is but tells her she won't tell anyone. Jimmy Woo from Ant-Man is looking at security footage of Dr. Smith at a gas station by his private landing strip in the Midwest. Dr. Smith winks at the camera and shoots it with the paintball gun from his truck. Jimmy Woo goes backwards in the video using the license plate and sees it with the landing strip and he searches Dr. Smith's plane ID number and calls Interpol. Wanda goes to her second session and they talk about the show she watched the other night. The doctor asks if anything had made her feel close to that happiness in her adult life and she says yes but she can't talk about it. The doctor agrees and says that it's only been a year since the blip and a lot of people are only starting to talk about a lot of their traumas. Wanda leaves and Dr. Smith comes in another door and asks the Asian doctor how Wanda is. The Asian doctor, I'll just call her Dr. Jones to make it easier to ID her name, says Wanda is opening up but it could be days, months, nobody knows. Smith tells Jones to try to trigger Wanda in the next session by talking about vision. Jones agrees. Wanda meets Catherine Hahn and Darcy in the restaurant again after her session and they have dinner together. They go back to Wanda's apartment and watch some Brady Bunch. They talk about their experiences and how they wish there was a way to bring their lovers back. Catherine Hahn is a plant, we don't know that yet, and starts to ask Wanda about her boyfriend, but Wanda won't say much. Darcy distracts Catherine by making lesbian jokes. They all drink and then leave for the night and Wanda goes to bed. Another flashback and Dr. Smith is at his old house right after the blip. People are still freaking out and celebrating and he knocks on the door and it's another family. They say they got the house from the bank during the bad times because the whole family snapped. Dr. Smith couldn't find his wife at the highway so he goes to the library and uses their computer to search for her and his daughter and finds out they died in the car accident. He breaks down the library crying. He goes to the university used to work at and they celebrate seeing him and a few other colleagues. They talk about the hospital that is housing people in the Midwest for people with SNAP related PTSD and that he should transfer there. Dr. Jones and Wanda have another session and Wanda says she finished all the Brady Bunch and other sitcoms which brought back a lot of memories. Dr. Jones talks about how Wanda is fitting in and Wanda talks about the girls she made friends with. Dr. Jones is happy and tells her to pursue friendships even if they don't match up with the Avengers or Vision. Wanda starts to get upset and Dr. Jones counsels her, but Wanda storms out and starts packing her bags in her apartment. Catherine Hahn comes by and Wanda says she knew they just wanted her for her connection to her old life and she's going to leave. Catherine Hahn relaxes her and tells her to talk to Smith about it. Wanda eventually calms down and agrees. Jimmy Woo is looking at footage of the plane in France and rewinds it to see Dr. Smith get off the train with Wanda. He doesn't recognize her and then puts in the next tape and it's footage of Dr. Smith getting on the train in Wanda's old hometown. He sees sword agents in the background running after the train leaves the station and says huh I wonder why they're there so that could be the plot of the first two episodes of the series and it makes sense how Vision doesn't have much of a role in those episodes other than you know a cameo or two but don't worry he'll have a much larger role later on in the series but again this leak comes from somebody who has apparently seen the first two episodes and they're trying to essentially explain what they remember and what they saw in the two episodes themselves so some names or details might not be accurate but because of the pandemic it wouldn't shock me that somebody out there in the world has seen at least an episode episode or two of WandaVision and then brought us this leak. You know, this does sound very plausible for a plot of episodes one and two. Like I said earlier in the video, it wouldn't shock me if the series does start off a bit slow dealing with the aftermath of Avengers Endgame and how Wanda's feeling before going deep into the multiverse in like episode three or four. But if none of this is correct, just imagine taking the time out of your day to write something so in depth that just isn't accurate whatsoever. But you know what? There are people out there on the internet that get a kick out of that. So take it all with a grain of salt. I've been your host, DK Dynamite. Might. Be on the lookout for the latest and greatest Marvel news information. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everyone.